That was a bit intimidating. Thank you for that. My Fitbit says I've died, so this is going well. How are we? Having a good night? I invited too many people, so that's my fault. Too much pressure. Any uh, students in from Chester? Yes, thank you. People have paid. Thank you very much for shouting out there. Uh, I'm a University of Chester student. I went there for three years. Best three years of my life. Uh, we've all joined an exclusive club. Only cost 15 grand. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're paying it back after we're 30. So fuck the government. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so I went to university. Really good three years. Um, lots of nights out. Lots of drinking. Lots of whatever else. And... Uh, <laughs> So it was a really good time, and a lot of the time after Christmas break, we would do the pre-drinks. Anybody know what pre-drinks are? We know. For the younger generation, it is the drinks you have when you intend to go on the night out till six o'clock in the morning. For the older generation, it's the drinks you have that you intend to go out on, but you play heads up and fall asleep in the armchair. So yeah, so we did that after Christmas, and it was a really good reunion. And uh, not to be a bit weird, but I used to suffer quite badly with urinary infections when I was in uni. Woohoo! Yes, urinary infections! Come on! NHS! Woo! That's not awkward at all. So um, this big massive reunion was coming up, I think. Oh, I've got a urinary infection as if on the, on the day after Christmas and whatever else. So I go to my doctor and obviously what you know is not supposed to do on antibiotics. Thank you, lady I paid over there. Thank you very much. Uh, so I go to the doctor and I get my antibiotics. And it normally says on the pack, do not consume with alcohol. This didn't say anything. This is the Pandora's box of the NHS. So I'm really looking forward to it. So I think, right, well, the doctor hasn't said anything. So I'm going to go on the NHS website, Google it, whatever. I type in the complicated message that's on the thing. And the best sentence... I have ever seen appears on my computer screen. This medication can exacerbate the effect of alcohol. <laughs> I'm going to say that one more time. This medication exacerbates the effect of alcohol. I'm like the Cheshire cat. Come on, instead of 30 quid, it's 15 quid. It's change after a WKD, my friend. I've got a taxi home and a donna meat with garlic mayo at the end of the evening. So I turn up to the pre-drinks. I've got my bottle of rosé. That was my nickname in uni, rosé. That's my stripper name as well if I lose my job. So I stick a straw in. Within the hour, it's gone. I'm absolutely hammered. I've had a fantastic evening, by the way. But then I sort of notice this kind of this gurgling in my stomach. I don't feel ill feel absolutely fine but Mr Blobby's having a bit of a party at the moment I'm kind of thinking Ugh. I'll risk it it's absolutely fine it's not a problem so the evening carries on and we hit the club I've always wanted to say that on a microphone <laughs> <laughs> we hit the club and it's kicking off it's about two o'clock in the morning I'm having a great time but the gurgling's still not feeling too cracking like I say I've got change for the rest of it. I've got about nine pound left I'm thinking yeah that's the kebab at the end of the night I'm still going to get the taxi home it's not a problem I'm not walking back you can forget it so I think I've, not to be disgusted but I think oh, I'll probably go to the toilet just for five minutes just sort of let it all settle down so by the way I'm wearing a cream play suit <laughs> I'm going to let that settle in for people who might not know what's going to happen next if you haven't got it it's your fault so I take the play suit off, take the top, I, wear, I used to wear tights, I don't anymore. I take the tights, I take the underwear off. And I do my business, I think, right, that's fine. Get that out of the way. And um, <laughs> there's people laughing over there because they know what happened. Because they know what happened, because it's very shameful. And I let it release and do my business. And I think, right, I'm done. Back to the dance floor because their uh, super bass has come on by Nicki Minaj. <laughs> so uh, get the tights, on. Play suits zip right up to the back, and there's a little bit of gas left. I think, oh, it's fine, I'll release it. <laughs> Cut a long story short, <laughs> I fucking shat myself. <laughs> Big style, not a little bit. I was drunk enough to know that it was wrong, so 
I undo the plates, I undo the tights, do the knickers. It's like the Great British Bake Off. I'm iced like a fucking cake. And I'm not joking, so I get it off. And my friend Zoe, who's not here tonight, is outside the cubicle, and I say, Zoe, I've shat myself. And I say, you need to pass some soap over. So there's this disgusting conveyor belt of soapy shit. I didn't pass the shit back to her. Don't worry about that. Hey, ah, Zoe. So she's passing it over and over and over. I was like, oh, clean it off. It's all good. And I'm looking down and I think, I could get away with this. <laughs> well, that's the devil on this shoulder. The devil's like, go on, you could carry on. Nicki Minaj hasn't finished yet. Your request still hasn't come on for the evening. The angel's like, don't be a tramp. No, no, don't pay any attention to that slag over there. You can carry on for the rest of the evening. This is a true story, by the way. This isn't a lie. So I clean it off, and the tights of the knickers are gone. They're, it's like Chernobyl. They're completely out of the way, in the bin and everything. And um, <laughs> I sort of look at myself and think, I can definitely carry on, 100%. And getting the thing off was like Michael Jackson in Thriller, like, you know, <laughs> getting the cake off. And I pull it back up, and Zoe's like, you're going to go home? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm not going home. So I hit the dance floor again in me, me pooey play suit, <laughs> giving it beans. And this gorgeous Swiss guy comes over. I can tell he was Swiss, because he had blonde hair and blue eyes. And he sort of came over. And he had really big muscles, lovely, lovely jumper on, blonde hair, blue eyes, like I say. And he was like, can I buy you a drink? I'm not good at accents. <laughs> <laughs> can I buy you a drink? I was like, oh, you don't want to ride this train, buddy. Because <laughs> I've just fucking shat myself. <laughs> Thank you very much.